Let my son play your bass guitar. He knows Guitar Hero. <laughs> R slash Entitled Parents. Our first story we'll be reading today. Let my son play your bass guitar. He knows Guitar Hero. From user Eno Chan. After that, why should I care about his missing leg? My kid thinks that cane is cool. From user Hagistaphic. And then we'll be looking at Entitled Mom Tries to Steal My Dog Because I Don't Deserve It. From user Infero S. Lass. And then we'll be wrapping up with Entitled Mom Wants Us to Reopen 45 Minutes After We Close. From user Carlisle. Thank you so much to our authors for letting us read your stories. And if you're an author who would like me to read your stories next, please submit them to the r slash Mr. Reddit subreddit. And if you're new, don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications for new stories from Reddit every single day. Let my son play your bass guitar. He knows Guitar Hero. English is my first language. Feel free to roast me. Insert obligatory mobile warning here. If you are lazy, too long didn't read at the bottom. A little bit of backstory here. My aunts from my maternal side are nice people, but oh boy, are my paternal aunts entitled. I'm an electric bass player, so it's not easy to play like any fretted string instrument. Our cast. We've got me. Who do you expect? We've got entitled aunt. Entitled kid. So, it's a normal afternoon with me jamming on my electric bass, playing along to tunes from Stone Temple's Pilots, Radiohead, Black Sabbath, and Muse when Entitled Ant and Entitled Kid decide to visit, unannounced. They come in demanding that they wanted to visit, despite my family's schedule being rather busy that day. My parents try to make them feel comfortable, but they end up complaining about how the couch is too soft, and how incredibly lukewarm the boiling hot tea was. Incoming Entitled Kid Alert Entitled Kid, decidedly bored sitting on the couch, decides to enter my room, with the ensuing conversation going like this. Ooh, a guitar. It's an electric bass, but you could say it's a guitar. Can I play it? I'm sorry, but this bass I have is precious to me and I'm afraid you'll damage it. Entitled Kid cuts me off. Let me play it. Let me play it. No, no, no. I'm sorry, but no means no. Hmm. <laughs> I'll tell Mommy. Entitled Kid storms off. I thought this was all over, and that Entitled Aunt would teach Entitled Kid about how no means no. But I was wrong. Very wrong. Entitled Aunt Alert. Beep, beep, beep. Less than five minutes after asking Entitled Kid to leave, I hear a knock on my door. A strong, full-bodied knock, like a SWAT team punching the door. I open the door. Who is it? How dare you not let my son play your guitar? You probably didn't let him because you're too afraid of his prowess. Me, being the calm person I am. Entitled Aunt, let me ask you a question. What qualifications does your son have that shows that he has the same skill level or better at electric bass than me? I am a grade 5 electric bassist. Pah! Why ask that question? He's been playing that guitar hero thing for months, and he's surely better than you. Insert standard issue Mr. Reddit re here. <sighs> I turn around and barely restrain myself from laughing like a hippo. So, to teach them a lesson, I did this. Fine, that's good enough. I'll let him play. But first, let me do some things to make it sound better. I begin to plug in a lot of effects pedals and set the bass amplifier's volume to maximum to make sure they would not touch my instruments again. Hmm, <laughs> if I was your parents, I would spank you until midnight. You kids are so entitled these days. I see Entitled Aunt inviting Entitled Kid to enter my room. Less than five minutes later, the loudest, dirtiest, and most obnoxious sound ever comes from my room. It was like taking a plate, throwing it on the floor, 
and using a shard to scratch a chalkboard, just louder, deeper, and more painful. The last time I saw Entitled Kid before he left, less than half an hour after the event, he was nursing his head as if he had suffered a most terrible of migraines. From that day onward, when Entitled Aunt and Entitled Kid came to visit, they never ventured into my room again. Oh, and Mr. Reddit, I've been a long-time viewer of your videos, and I decided to contribute one story of my own. I give you full permission to use this story and all its unedited goodness. Now that, my friend, is how you deal with an entitled mom and an entitled kid. Next up, we've got... Why should I care about his missing leg? My kid thinks that cane is cool. So, here's some backstory. My cousin was in the British military and lost his left leg below the knee in Helmand. And considering he lives in the highlands of Scotland and is still physically fit, he makes a living on taking tour groups up mountains and locks in the area. He needs a cane or he'll fall over. I live in the most city place in Glasgow, so often go up to visit him whenever I'm free for a wee hike or a camping trip. Anyway, one day he asks me if I fancy helping him out with a tour group, and I didn't mind, so I went along with him. So we're hiking up towards the ferry pools. Most tourists don't realize how far up the ferry pools are and get tired on the first time, 10 kilometers from where we start. We're at the beginning of the trail and Cousin gives the briefing, how far it is, when they'll take breaks, if they even want a break at all, and where they can start swimming. So eventually, a wee kid tells their mom that he's tired, and this is the full conversation. Mom, I'm tired. Can we take a break? Of course, taps Cousin's shoulder. My son says he's tired. Can we take a break? Well... If you'd listened to the briefing, uh, you'd know when and where. She didn't. What? This is an American tour group. Speak English. She was the only one not from Scotland. Cousin and a slightly less thick accent. Had you listened like the rest, you'd know when we'd take breaks. Entitled mom looks upset, but scoffs it off and moves back to her part in the line. About one to two kilometers later where we have an optional first break. My cousin says, All right, if anyone needs a break, you can take it now. Finally! During the break, she was already a bit of a jerk and clearly didn't pack for the trip as she only had a half-empty bottle of water on her. So she went around the rest of the hikers asking for their food because her kid was hungry. Eventually, my cousin just gives her his food because he didn't want the other hikers to get irritated. I don't like tuna. You don't have anything else? No. Now my cousin is angry. Entitled mom tells her kid to eat the sandwich anyway, which he does somewhat reluctantly. Before we resumed our hike, Entitled kid asked his mom for cousin's cane, which may I remind you, he needs due to his somewhat still new fake leg. Mom, I'm tired. Can I get a walking stick thing too? I'm sure you can. Entitled mom looks at my cousin, assuming he heard and cared about what they were talking about. Can I help you with anything else? My son would like a walking stick too. Sorry, don't have a spare. Well, can he have yours? No, I need mine. But he's tired. How bad would it be if he just borrowed it? I need this, or I'll fall over. Look, my kid's already tired and hungry. Just give him your walking stick. You're being dramatic. Please, I'm tired, and it looks cool. Entitled Mom gives one of those, you heard him, looks. In the meanwhile, the rest of the group was kind of upset, because this was the second time they had to stop because of Entitled Mom, saying stuff like, oh, come on. However, she misinterpreted this as the group backing her up somehow. See, even they think he should have it. I need this or I'll fall. Fall? How many times have you gone up here? Shouldn't you be familiar with the path? 
Shouldn't you be fit enough to... At this point, I, now also upset, cut her off. Right. Now listen here, you walking one-star review. My cousin lost his left leg in Afghan and needs the bloody cane. It's not our fault you didn't research how long this path was. How dare you speak to me like that? And besides, what leg? He has both here, does he not? Cousin rolls up his trouser leg, exposing his fake leg. Ma'am, I do not mind you staying on the tour, but I won't stop for any of your complaints anymore. You're holding up the rest. Entitled Mom just quietly moves to the rear of the line. Got a bit of a row for being rude to her from my cousin, but felt pretty satisfied when she eventually just took the path back after getting tired, seeing the fairy pools as summit else. Next we've got, Entitled Mom tries to steal my dog because I don't deserve it. Disclaimer, I'm on PC, so I have no excuse for spelling errors. Make fun of me all you want. Oh, and this happened last month. Sorry if this is long, this got me mad, and I have a photographic memory, so I remember this like it happened an hour ago. Does have dialogue. Okay, okay, enjoy. Our cast, we've got me. I have no clue how he keeps following me home. We've got Entitled Mom, Entitled Kid, Dog Owner 1, Dog Owner 2. For context, Chance is the dog, he will be known as Chance, and I look a lot like a girl, even in my face. I'm a voice actor and learned a, ahem, anime girl voice and start talking in it when I get nervous and I'm too socially awkward to correct people who call me a girl. And the ahem is for the other anime. If you get it, you get it. My voice starts to get moany the higher and more anime it gets. Important later on. Backstory. I have a dog walking business and it's great. I walk a dog named Chance three days a week for half an hour. I tried for about 30 minutes to post a pic of him, but I can't figure out how to. I'm on PC, Windows. Anyways, he's a great dog and the owners are great too. The next part is not needed if you're in a rush, but we'll make the story better. I've walked Chance for about four to five weeks now and he's a great dog. The owners have me wash him for five extra a week, so I'm making $20 a week important later on. I always walk down to the dog park, about two miles away, though it's not a bad run, and if Chance is feeling up to it, we can get there in eight minutes. My route is ten minutes to get there and wait for about ten to fifteen minutes and leave. This happened on the day we made it in seven minutes. It was a record for us. Every Wednesday there's a farmer's market, where we go to eat and it's all fresh and I personally love the ahi pokey, tuna. Anyways, there's always over 50 people there, and it gets a little hectic sometimes. I've met a lot of people like this one, so if you want me to, I can tell more. There is a lagoon right next to the farmer's market and a community center, so it's popular already. Story This was a Wednesday, and as usual, the owners were at the farmer's market, so I got a chance and headed down. They unlock their back door for me to get in, and they leave their harness and body strap out for me to grab. There was a note saying, Take this 20, so if we're not back, you are paid. So I get the stuff set up, grab a bag, and head out. I'm getting to the lagoon, and this lady walks up to me, and the following happens. Entitled Mom seemed nice at first, so Mr. Reddit, if you do read this, give her a good voice until I say, Please, the kid is a snob though. Mommy, mommy, I want to pet the doggy. He starts walking towards my big dog, about half the size of me, and pets him without asking. Excuse me, young girl. Um, hello? That's a very pretty dog you have there. Thanks, he's a golden shepherd. Now her voice starts to kick in, but on top of entitled, she sounds like she's smoked a pack of cigs. My boy really likes that dog. How much do you want for him? Um, he's not for sale. And if he was, I wouldn't sell him to you. <clears throat> What's that supposed to mean? Ma'am, you sound like you smoke daily, and I wouldn't want chance around that. Mommy, I want the puppy, please. 
I know, entitled kid. Mommy will get him for you. You. She looks at me. Give me your dog or else. I'm starting to get very anxious and starting to talk in the anime voice. Ma'am, please leave me alone. Why am I bugging you? And why is your voice getting higher? Please, ma'am, leave me alone. I just want to walk chance. Mommy, she's leaving. I want the doggy. Yes, he was this annoying in real life. Give me the dog right now. She said almost evil. Swear she gave me the chills. I start to take off running with Chance, thinking it's a game and following along. He tries to outrun me, so he's going like seven minute miles and I'm barely staying with him. I look behind me and there's Entitled Mom chasing me at full speed. Keep in mind, she's a full grown adult, I'm only 14. So she's right behind me screaming at me to give her my dog. Listen here, you little jerk. You give me that dog right now. Oh, I will hunt you down and take him from you. My voice is as high anime as it can get, and I'm so nervous I'm shaking. Leave me alone! I said, rather moany. I get to the food court, and the owner sees me running with this lady chasing me and stop her immediately. What the heck do you think you're doing, lady? Yeah, he's our dog, and stop harassing our dog walker. That dog walker is a jerk who can't stop mooning. His voice is naturally high and he has anxiety, so stop bugging him. He screamed the last two words. How dare you allow that girl to become that? That is so sinful. No boy has a voice or a face like that. I heard her moon. Please leave me alone. You're not worth my time, you disgusting person. And she left. At least it was over. But that's not it. Apparently, she was getting evicted for neglecting her kid and having holes in her walls. I only learned this because I was part of her getting evicted. I was the last straw. As you may have noticed earlier, I didn't have any more entitled kid lines after she ran at me. Yeah, that's because she pushed him out of the way to get to me and ended up breaking his wrist. She left entitled kid alone and ran after me. The lady started arguing more and more until she gave up and left. She never hit me, so no police were called, and it was just a very weird experience. If you think this is fake, it's not. This is very real. And my dog almost got kidnapped. If any of you can tell me how to post a pic on here, I can post a pic of him. Hope that boy's okay. Mr. Reddit, if you do read this story, please leave a comment or DM me and tell me when you're going to post the vid. I love watching you and hope you will read my story. You have my permission to read my story on your YouTube channel. And our final story of the day. Entitled Mom wants us to reopen 45 minutes after we close. Hey Mr. Reddit, this happened about a month ago, but the Entitled Mom came back in today and it reminded me. I work in a non-chain grill and bar. The place is not huge, but we do good business and are pretty popular with the locals. This happened on a Saturday night after closing about a month ago. The cast. We've got me. We've got the manager on duty. We have Entitled Mom and Sadie, the awesome waitress. So, it's a Saturday night and I'm working in the kitchen with a few co-workers. Things had been relatively slow all day. Things really die down come summer. And so our manager allowed us to start breaking down the kitchen early, so we would have more time for the floors. Saturday closing shift is required to do a full deep clean on the floors in the kitchen, and it's a long job that can take an upwards of two hours. Even with a full crew, we sometimes don't get done until 1 a.m. There are a few regular casuals finishing their drinks and chatting with manager and the bartender as she breaks down for the night. The regulars finish up, wish everyone good night, and head out about 10.30. Following closing policy, the manager locks up behind them. Breakdown is moving quickly and we might get out a little earlier than normal. Then 10.45 p.m. comes. Enter Karen. I am wiping down the line when I hear someone first shake the front door and then start banging on it. Our place is pretty small, so the noise spooks me and I peek my head around the server entrance to look at the front door. Big mistake. K 
Karen and I look at each other and she starts to yell how I need to open the door. I tell her to hold on a minute, I'll go get manager. I tell him we have a woman banging on the door, yelling to unlock it, but I don't know what's going on. He goes over and opens the door to talk to her. After all, maybe she accidentally left her phone or something. As soon as he opens the door, she launches into yelling at him. Why are the doors locked? You're open until 11 p.m. Don't you want business? I'm sorry, ma'am, but we close at 10 p.m. No, I was here last night and you open until 11. Yes, we are only open till 11 on Friday nights. We actually closed an hour ago. Sorry about the trouble. He starts to close the door. Entitled Mom puts her foot in the way of the door. That's stupid! But whatever. I need to speak to a manager or someone. I'm the manager on duty. How can I help you? Entitled Mom has now fished a crinkled receipt out of her bag, waves it in his face, and shoves it into his hand. I came in earlier today and ordered the cheese sticks and the salmon, and the cheese sticks were cold. Ice cold. It was disgusting, and the salmon was burnt. I could barely finish. As a side note, there is no way the cheese sticks could be ice cold, because we have loud timers and fry stands that run all day. If anything, they would have been overcooked. Did you happen to mention this to your server at all? We like to make sure that all the food that leaves- I tried. She wasn't interested. I told her that the food was disgusting, and she laughed in my face. Manager's obviously doubting this story, as he is looking at the receipt. And a manager was not requested? I would have been happy to address this. I'm sorry that you didn't enjoy the food. If you would like, I can leave a note for our owner for a free meal tomorrow, or a gift card for the cost of your meal. No. Uh, I'm sorry? I said no. I should not have to come back because your crappy waitress and idiot cooks don't know how to do their jobs. I want my food tonight. Now! Ma'am, that isn't going to happen. Our fryers have been off for an hour, and the kitchen is in teardown. Uh, we can have your- Then turn the gosh darn fryers back on and get me my food. This is ridiculous. We can't do that, I'm afraid. The fryers will take at least half an hour to heat up. Also, if this is correct, I see you on the receipt that you actually came in on Friday. I don't care what day I came in. I am not waiting until tomorrow for you to give me a resolution, you jerk. I live in another city, and I leave tomorrow. Any other solution is useless to me. You know what? I am tired of this. Get me the owner. Now! Ah, <sighs> manager sighs. The owner has to be in at 7 and does not want to be bothered. Okay, I will ring him. Please have a seat. Manager proceeds to call the owner and relay the situation, including that the woman waited a full day to come in. She ends up getting on the phone with him and they hash out some deal that she is apparently fine with that doesn't involve reopening the whole kitchen. She leaves feeling smug and we finish up the night. Turns out, the owner told her that he would personally give her a gift card for the cost of the meal and dessert the next morning. Fast forward to today and I'm sitting in one of the black booths, as I am now sanitation and getting my stuff together before I head home. We open, and who should walk in but Karen in her local high school t-shirt. One of the servers I am friendly with has her seated in her section. I had told this server about this whole situation as a war story. I flag her down and tell her how this was that Karen. Are you for real? I look at her. Other city, my butt. She's a regular. She lives down the street from me. All I can do is laugh and shake my head as I leave to go home. And congrats to our Regeneral of the day, Mandish Panda. Become our next Regeneral by dropping as many Re's in the comments as you can. That's all for now, but don't be blue. I'll be back soon with more stories for you. Remember to listen to Mr. Reddit every night so your dreams will be wonderful like you are and bright.